Hello everybody, I'm Dan. This tutorial is about escape sequences. Let's get started by opening up our web browser to my website, thegpu.com. I'm going to select Menu up here and select See Tutorials just to mix it up a little bit. Come down here and we'll click on Escape Sequences Tutorial. In my previous tutorial, beginning printf, I introduced the concept of the conversion specification character, right, the percent symbol, basically to interject variable values into a string literal. In this tutorial, I will explain what that mysterious backslash n is that we have seen on various occasions. Escape sequences are always prefixed with the backslash character, and they are contained inside of string literals. The term string literal is just a fancy way of saying a word or a sentence. Simply put, a string literal begins with a double quote and ends with another double quote. Everything in between is considered the value of the string literal. Here's a string literal example. Hello world, right? Beginning double quote, ending double quote. Here is the string literal value. Now we learned in the last tutorial that the first parameter of the printf function is a string literal, right? Pretty straightforward there. We also learned that the string literal can contain special flags called conversion specification characters. And they allow us to interject values into the string literal. So here's our string literal, opening double quote, ending double quote. The, the conversion specification character is a percent symbol, and D is, um, tells the compiler that we are going to be interjecting a integer value, right? So the value of I will get put into this string literal. Now, while this sort of cryptic syntax is all well and good, it does pose some problems. Say, for example, that we want the printf function to display a double quote to the console. How do we do that? After all, I just stated the first paragraph that a string literal begins with a double quote and ends with another double quote. Would something like this work, right? If we wanted to display to the console Dwayne Johnson, AKA, and then we wanted the rock in between quotes there, right? Was a wrestler who became a movie star. This won't work because the string literal starts here and ends here. So this will, in fact, just the above statement will produce a compiler error. And we can fix that by using escape sequences. So we take the escape sequence, which is the backslash, and then it sees the double quote after that. And what this does is this tells the compiler um, that, that we're, we've got an escape sequence. We actually want these, these uh, to be part of our string literal instead of terminating the string literal, okay? If that makes sense. So the compiler will compile just fine, and the console output will be exactly like what we're looking for. Day, Dwayne Johnson, AKA, and then the rock in parentheses was a wrestler who became a movie star. So the following is a list of C escape sequences and what they do. Um, escape N is new line, and it's the most commonly used one there. Escape A is an alert, which is a beeper thing, and it's somewhat dependent upon hardware. Mine won't actually do it. Um, escape B is a backspace, escape T is a tab, escape backslash will produce a backslash, escape single quote, right, and escape double quote. These are some less commonly used escape, escape sequences, and uh, I'm not going to go over them, but if you wanted to toy around with any of these, knock yourself out. Don't worry about any of these four right now, you know. I haven't gone over what a trigraph is or what hexadecimal numbers are or what Unicode is. So, But let's go ahead and get started there. Um, I'm going to move this off screen here. I've got a shortcut to the command prompt on my desktop, but if you don't, you create one really fast by right-clicking, selecting new shortcut, type in CMD, next and finish. It's just that easy. Let's go ahead and open it up. And um, first things first, let's type in GCC, which is our compiler here. We should see fatal error, no input files, compilation terminated. If you see, for example, GCC and then it says uh, command or statement or program not found or something to that effect, watch my tutorial on installing the C compiler, specifically the GCC. CD backslash moves us to the root. I'm going to make a directory here with the MD command called C demo. I already have that folder, but if you don't, it will uh, create it for you. We'll change directories to that C demo folder. I'm going to make a directory here called uh, escape sequences. <clears throat> we'll change directories to that escape sequences folder and we'll notepad up some escape sequences.c. Okay, we'll create that file. We'll move back over the 
web page here and we'll just highlight this stuff we'll copy and we'll paste it into notepad you don't want to see me typing all that stuff in all right uh, let's come up here and save this now um, the first thing printf is going to display to the console is exactly what we talked about there so let's go ahead and uh, come up here type in gcc we'll hit tab that'll fill in the escape sequences for us right minus o and then we'll hit tab again so we're going to be compiling the escape sequences C. That's our source code file. Minus O is short for output, and then it'll call this escape sequences. It'll automatically add in the .exe. If we do a directory there, you'll see we got our escape sequences. .exe there. We run it here, right? We get Dwayne Johnson, AKA, and there's our there's our double quotes. Was a wrestler who became a famous movie star. Now let's take a look at these next three statements here. We've got line one, line two, and line three. And we take a look at the console here, as you can see, line one, line two, and line three all ran together. And that's because we didn't have this slash n, which is the new line escape sequence there. Printing the new line right here does in fact, you know, break it off right there. And then of course you can see, including that slash n, at the end of one, each one of those, we did in fact get our new lines exactly like we expected, okay? Now in this next one here, we've got one, and then we've got a tab. Um, escape sequence, another tab escape sequence, and another one, right? And basically these kind of line, line this up into columns there, right? That So you can do some like special formatting and stuff like that, console level formatting and everything like that using the tab characters. So you can see we got the 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's a demonstration of the tab there. Now this next statement here, did you hear A, and then we got the escape double quote, escape double quote beep, and then we've got a escape A, which is alert, and then a new line. Now I didn't have any beeps because I don't know if my motherboard has an onboard speaker or whatnot there. It actually has an onboard display on it there now that does all these numbers. That's how fancy they are. So once again, this A is hardware dependent. It'll probably used to, you know, back in the day, this used to really play out quite a bit there, but now A really doesn't, doesn't do much, or it may, depending on what, what hardware you have. But as you can see, there's our double quotes there. And then on the next one here, I've got an escape single quote, right? And uh, that's, that's that right there. Now, um, then I've got display to the console. The current directory location is C colon backslash C demo backslash escape sequences backslash. So getting these single um, backslashes displayed to the output, what you have to do is you have to do the escape character and then it says, okay, and then we've got a backslash. This reads as an escape and a backslash, an escape, a backslash. Now we've got another escape that kind of resets the escape loop and then an N, which is the new line, right? And so that's how we get that display to the console. Now, what if we want to display actually slash N to the console? Fairly simple there. This reads as an escape character, a backslash, right? And now we don't have another, we do not have another escape character. We just have a basic old good old char, a char, a character N right there, right? And so that's how we get that display to the console. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this, minimize that, and leave you guys with some final thoughts here. So, um, so there you have it. That is basically all you'll really need to know about escape sequences. Now, don't worry about those hexadecimal numbers and Unicode characters for now. I will cover them in future tutorials. That concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.